Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. It looks like the rain has stopped. We're here just, um, well, I guess we're, I don't know if we're on the edge or we're actually inside of Scarlet's. I can barely recognize it. Um, Scallets, that's the name of the place. I didn't think I said that right. Uh, Scallets was in an even worse state than I expected. Sigismund's soldiers massacred everyone they came across, and not only in the town, in the nearby village of Ravna, people who were trying to take refuge in the church were butchered. I have to find my parents' bodies and bury them. Unless someone moved them, they should still be lying where they were cut down. This is really sad. So we're here. Oh, we're in Ravna. Oh gosh, we're not even in Scalitz yet. Oh my, okay. Um, hmm. Well, um, I guess I'm not done traveling. Nettle? I can gather nettle. Okay, that seems like a good thing to do right now. Jesus. Well, oh gosh. All these bodies here. Not sure how I feel about this. Um, so you can see here that we could loot the body. We could probably do that to pretty much all of these. Um, dandelion here. And I'm tempted to loot them because we're basically homeless. I mean, they're letting us stay in Tomberg, but. We have no family, we have no career, <laughs> uh, we have really no way to make money. We have to fend for ourselves, and I think that includes looting from dead bodies. And you know, there's always the age-old excuse, well, if I don't do it, someone else is going to do it. So, I mean, we're going to get some food from this guy. I mean, we're going to need all this stuff to travel. He's got one groschen on him. Um, as always, I'm curious to hear what you guys think. I mean, is this is this a despicable thing I'm doing here? I mean, it kind of feels na nasty, um, but um, I also kind of feel like, well, you know, like I just said, I mean, this is we're in a tough situation here, and. Um, I mean, it's not like they need it. I mean, I guess the argument could be made that, you know, maybe their families will come back, but um, I, I, I don't know whether they will or not. Even if they did, it's just, it's just some food. It's no big deal. Man, they're just lying here. I feel like I'm trying to justify what I'm doing, which maybe answers my own question as to whether I should feel crappy about doing this or not. Um, feels kind of disrespectful, I guess. Oh, I can't walk up there, but times are tough. Times are tough. Very, very tough times. I mean, we just lost our family for crying out loud. So I'm picking up a lot of stuff. A lot of this stuff is going to go bad, but at least um, we won't go hungry. Boy, these people had all kinds of stuff on them. I wish they had more uh, groceries on them, though. There's a lot of stuff we could pick up here. I don't know. I mean, I imagine this stuff has weight, and eventually our pack will be too full to carry anything else. I guess, in a way, it's good that it's raining so hard. It might keep people away. Can't go in there. Well, we need to get back on the road, because we need to get to Scallets. I love this rain. Really, really feels like it's raining. Gotta watch out for other looters. There may be some out here. 
So I guess this is the road to Scallets that I'm on. Looks that way. Oh, oh, oh. Is that person alive there? Doesn't look like... I don't have any way to zoom in. So I think I'm just gonna... I don't know, he doesn't... Is he looting? Is he just sitting there? I'm too curious. I don't think he's looting. You're in the wrong place at the wrong oh, time. Oh, okay. Oh crap, Bring oh crap. Um, oh, okay. So hold on one moment, sir, while I get my weapon ready. Um, Oh. Where's my damn sword? Oh, jeez, that hurt. Where's my sword? Okay, it's right here. Um. Nope, that. My sword is in my main hand. Ouch. Where's my freaking sword? There, finally. How many times do I have to press the button to get the sword to come out? Yeah. Oh, most people don't want to die, so they may surrender. The victor can then decide what to do with them. Let them go, take their belongings, or silence them forever. I am stuck in a ditch. Did he die? Oh, I'm in a creek. I can't get out of this creek, man. There we go. I guess I killed him. I was having a hard time getting my sword out. I, I, I remember it was pressing button one. I was pressing it, but it wasn't, wasn't getting my sword out. I guess... I don't know. I wasn't doing it right. So this guy... He was doing the same thing I was doing. Just bandit. I'll take his clothes. It's interesting to me that we can take his clothes, but we can't take their clothes. We can't take villagers' clothes. I'm not saying I want to, but it's just interesting. Okay. So... First, um... Bandit. I mean, really, we're no better than him. We don't know his story. You know, he he could be in just as tough of times as we are, you know. Or he could just be some scummy bandit. And uh, maybe we're just a scummy bandit, too. I kind of feel like a scummy bandit. But, oh look, I, I think I'm over encumbered. There's an icon down there. Right here. Overloading. Hmm. Overloading. Is there anything about overloading here? There's not. No, there's not. Um. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess that, you know, just judging by what has happened in previous games... Well, my stamina's not going down. I thought maybe my stamina would go down because I'm overloaded. But yeah, we're, we're carrying a lot of stuff. I can sort by condition. This thing's in bad shape. And I'm okay with the clothes I'm currently wearing. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop this. What's this now? I don't... Wait, what's this? Oh. <laughs> I need to make sure I click on the right thing before I drop it. Okay, this apple has an X next to it, which I guess um, is, means it's in bad shape. So we're going to drop this apple. I'm going to drop this leather jerkin. And then, um, I mean, how many torches do I need, really? Uh, okay, it's not saying I'm over encumbered anymore. I don't seem to be hungry. My nourishment is at 73. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, so we'll just leave that stuff there on the ground. So now, not only are we a scummy bandit, we're also a litterer. A litter bug. I don't know which is worse. I really don't. Another body here. Bandage might be good to have. I mean, they just... Killed these people. left their bodies here for me to loot. 
So I'm just gonna pick up stuff until I can't pick up stuff anymore. I mean, I'm getting groceries every once in a while. Hmm, something here. More bodies, maybe like a... Oh, there's a cross here. Looks like there's a bit of a crossroads here, maybe. Let's look at the map. Okay, I'm gonna wanna go left. Encumbered now. Let's pick up the rest of this stuff and then I'll drop what I don't want. Sweet Jesus. It's the charcoal burner. Oh, oh, the charcoal burner. We knew him. He would have, he wanted, he would have wanted us to take his stuff. Right? Yeah. He, that's, it's what he would have wanted. Oh, there's body hanging over there? Okay, I'm gonna drop this apple because it's bad. Let's sort by condition again. Don't need another torch, I don't feel like. Yeah, those torches must be heavy because when I drop those, it really lightens my load. We'll get rid of this torch, it's in bad shape. Oh yeah, that apple was bad. I'll take the pretzel. It's in good shape. Leave the apple, it's in bad shape. So why did they decide to make a, an example out of this body? And this place is burned. Still embers here. Doesn't look like there's anything here for us. So how close are we now? Oh, we're on the outskirts. Did anyone do this? What did these poor souls ever do to them? Yeah. Not gonna take any of that. It's, bodies must have been here for a while. I'll take the bandage. I was a little bothered by, um that bandit that we came across. He was sitting there motionless until we got closer to him. Zach Kelly, Tony Long, and Sean. Ah, uh, Groshan. Oh, and a bandage will take everything from this guy. Oh, I heard a noise. Did you hear that? Thought I heard a noise. These apples are good. map again. Looks like I want to go this way. Hey, who's there? Oh. Somebody sees me, but I don't see them. Who's there? Oh, another bandit? What's up? I don't know if I'll get hey, who's there? be lucky enough to fight another bandit. Hey, what are you doing? What are you oh, you're doing banditing, here? aren't you? Part of life, are you? Okay, I'm getting tired. Gotta back off, get my stamina back. Okay, he sur he he surrenders. Talk. Release him. Let him go disarmed, cause you nah, let's let him go. He's I mean he's probably just in the same situation we're in. You're not going anywhere, aren't? 
Leave your weapon on the ground and get lost. All right. Yeah, get lost. Don't look at me. Don't eyeball me. Oh, I could pick up his axe. But I don't think I want it. I got this fancy sword. I don't need a stupid axe. Well, the carrot's in good shape. Oh man, so many bodies. Put my sword away. That time I was able to get my sword quickly enough. These horses. A dog? Is that what I heard? I, think I heard a dog. I don't know why they had to kill the horses too. Okay, I guess we go up through the gates here. We can get through. Hmm. Oh wow, I can't go up here. Huh. Well, I need to get in here somehow. Maybe I need to walk around. Try to get in this way. Wondering why the game is going to make me do that. kind of leading me in a direction here. Let's just run along the wall. I don't have to run on the road. Another horse on the ground there. So I really like the lightning effect. There's another bandit there. Um, there we go, there's the thunder. I was gonna say, I like the lightning, but I wish I'd hear the thunder that should accompany it, and I hear it now. There's another bandit here. If I could sneak up on him. practice sneaking up on somebody. See if there's an option to do anything special. Let me put my weapon away. Let's see if I could choke him with my hands or something. Answer oh, nope. My Just when I wanted to vent my rage on them. Reached new level with sword. This is good sword practice. Oh. oh, he's got a club. Oh, he hit me pretty hard. Kind of hurts a little bit. Fuck it. Don't think you can. <laughs> New level in warfare. <laughs> you surrender, sir. Oh, I guess I killed him. Mercy kill. Uh, and now he's dead. Oh wow! Look at all the stuff he had on him. I'll take these uh, bandages. Um. Marigold decoction might be useful. The other stuff I don't think I care about. I don't want to look like a bandit. Okay, I'm, I'm over encumbered again. That's okay. See if these guys have anything good on them. Any money. Could use money. Let's drop some stuff. Drop some stuff that's going to go bad anyway. Guess both those pairs were equally bad. Well, we're here. I th think I remember 
Where we are? Oh, the bailiff. He didn't run like me. The guy with the sword in his hand. Bailiff. He's got nothing on him. Bandage. I'll take the bandage. I'll take the groschen. I wonder if we're going to see our friends. I don't know if they made it into um, I'm at Fritz and Matthias and I forget the other guy's name. I wonder if they made it. I don't know if that was a person or a dog I just heard. Used to buy a sign and he did this to you. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away. Didn't abandon me, like me. This must be Deutsch. Right? Guess that's who that is. I think it's Deutsch. That's what he meant by you stood by his side. You defended Sigismund. And this is what happened. Oh man, I will find Bianca. Her girlfriend. Oh. Oh, no. oh it's Bianca. Why? Not you. It wasn't supposed to be you, Bianca. I'll find the bastards that did this to you. I'll find them. I swear it. It's oh. Right now, I'll take care of my parents, and then I'll come back for you. I won't leave you like this. Wow, that's really sad. <laughs> the look on her face. Let's take her ring and her schnapps. I'll take this as a keepsake to remember you by. This is really sad. You gotta be getting close. Yeah, I think it was, wasn't it right around here where this happened? Yeah, another, I'm hearing dogs and he kept saying that he needed to get here so that dogs wouldn't eat the bodies. Well, we found our parents. We need to find a spade. So the marker 
But my compass is pointing in every direction, or no direction. Uh, let's see here. I was uh, still hoping against all the odds they might somehow have survived, but they were dead. I found my parents' bodies and others too. Now I have to find a spade to dig a grave under the linden tree, as my father wished. It should be no problem to find a spade in the village. Should be no problem, says the game. No problem at all. So we're going to look for a spade. Let's see if they have anything on them that I want. No. What about father? Maybe he's got a groschen. I'm going to take that. Spade. Should be no problem to find a spade in the village. here before if I saw like a garden or anything like that. I mean this is kind of looking like a garden. Yeah here's a garden. Can't get over that fence though. I don't know if there's any tools over there or not. Um, dog I hear here sounds like it's in bad shape I don't know whether he's going to attack me or not he probably will, he's probably hungry yeah, or not, there's plenty of food for him to eat here oh, here we go hmm Somebody else. Get away, you beast! What's going on? It's Bishop. What in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Isn't that Mutt the Butcher's? Isn't that Body the Butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? What's that got to do with anything? He's trying to protect his owner. Yeah, he's protecting his master. I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? I just want to bury my parents, all right? I came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. Well, I need the shovel. But let's, uh, let's talk to him. What happened to Teresa? Do you know what happened to Teresa from the moon? When I fled, the Cumans wanted to... They meant to violate her. God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune... Right now, I've got to take care of myself. Hmm, I don't like this guy. How did you manage to get away? How do you think I ran? Okay. Uh, <laughs> fuck you. Let me that spade, will you? Would you lend me that spade? I have to dig a grave. I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it, anyway? Um, it's for Sir Radzik. My father forged it for Sir Radzik. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right ahead and dig that grave with your sword. See how that goes. And where will you dig it, anyway? Here? 
You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? Uh, well, he really wanted to be buried here, all right? My father said he wanted to be buried here, and I can't take him to St. Jacob's. God willing, later I can find a priest to consecrate the ground. Hmm. So, um, have I disturbed your looting? So, we're, um, basically gonna accuse him of doing exactly what we were doing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. I do feel bad about it. I've interrupted you robbing the dead. Is that why you're so ill-tempered? You bastard. Haven't you got a shred of honor? And what of it? The butcher has no more need of corn. And now that I think of it, your sword would do me quite nicely as well. Hmm. Will you hand it over without a fuss, or do you want to end up like the butcher here? The only way you'll touch this sword is when you shove it in your guts. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you better run away. See you later. Bye. So, we learned of the sacking of uh, Scalettes. Little is known about the war in 1402 to 1403, when Sigismund invaded Bohemia and tried to seize power, and the records that do exist are fairly vague. However, we do know the fate of Scalettes, which was buried to the Oh, buried, burned to the ground on March 23rd, 1403. We know the exact date because a document was preserved that Sigismund signed that day in the siege camp. Sigismund undoubtedly chose Scalitz because silver was mined here, and the town was administered by the royal hetman Rachik Kobyla, a supporter of the king. Sigismund apparently wanted to disrupt the flow of money going to the Wenceslas. According to the legend, Kobyla and his people who were hiding from the attackers in the castle, were able to escape because of a great storm that blew up and forced the besieging army to wait until morning to take the castle. The castle defenders took advantage of the opportunity and under the cover of darkness Fred fled to nearby Rate. In the morning, the only thing Sigismund men found in the empty castle was a goat. <laughs> this is also in the game. <laughs> Sigismund then raised the town and the castle to the ground and the castle was never rebuilt. Today, only the foundations remain. <laughs> While I was looking for a spade, I came across the mill hand Zbichek, who was trying to rob the dead body of the butcher, which was being guarded by the dead man's dog, Mutt. Zbichek was trying to drive him away with a spade, and then he started a fight with me. As soon as I drew my father's sword, though, he took to his heels and left the spade lying on the ground. Good, I was hoping that he had left the spade. I wasn't sure whether he'd left it or not. Where is it? Easy there, boy. You know me. The good master won't be needing this anymore. Do we, do we loot him to get the spade? Oh gosh, he's got a lot of groceries. I gotta take these. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm, I'm terrible. But that was too tempting. Where's the spade? Uh, I guess it's in this. Oh, it's right here. Okay, cool. All right, let's grab the spade. Okay, so we got hold of a spade. I wonder if we're going to face this guy again. It was smart of him to run off. I mean, that's how he survived Sigismund's army by running. So it'd be dumb for him to fight us and then die after surviving the army. It'd be really dumb. So there's a linden tree somewhere around here. I'm just walking in the direction that the uh, game is pointing me. Is this tree on the other side of this fence? Uh, it's on the other side of this fence. I need to go around this way, unfortunately. Ah, I can't run while I'm over encumbered. So we'll just have to mosey our, our way on over here.
this tree here, I imagine. Let's see what's in the house first, if there's anything left. in there for us. Boy, they took everything, all right. Yeah. Let's pick this lock. It's our stuff. We can have it. It's pretty tricky. Groshen. Whoops, yeah. Henry's beta die? A playing die that Henry secretly made to bring him luck and love, which is why he'd rather not use it to gamble with. Okay. Hercules and his diet. Being able to read was a very rare skill in the Middle Ages, and a common blacksmith's son certainly wouldn't have been literate. You can open a book and try to make sense out of the glyphs, but in the end you will have to find someone who can teach you at least the basics of reading. Who knows, perhaps reading will turn out to be a valuable source. Boy, I wish it gave me more time to read. <laughs> uh, Henry might not be able to read, but we can. In the late, in the late 14th and 15th <laughs> Let me start over. In the late 14th and early 15th centuries, both Czech and German were spoken in the Czech lands. German first appeared after German colonization and made its way largely into the towns, the upper classes, and literature, love poems, and bureaucratic language. Czech had evolved from Old Slavonic and was spoken by the poorer residents, becoming an official language only to the re during the reign of Charles IV. Apart from these two languages, there was Latin, the language of books, chronicles, learned treatises, official deeds, and documents. Latin was the language of the church and the Bible, and served as the medium of international communication. The development of the Slavic language and its emancipation was the domain of the monasteries, including Sassau, from the early Middle Ages on. The preacher Jan Hus was one of the pioneers of fostering the Czech language. As for literature, Czech found its due place from the early 14th century in various genres, spiritual and secular lyricism, love stories, epics, and dramas. Among the oldest examples were legends such as about Judas Iscariot, Pontius Pilate, and uh, the lives of the saints, knightly epics, chronicles, and satires. Apart from official documents in Latin, correspondence was written in Czech from the end of the 14th century. <coughs> Oh, you've learned books and libraries. Collecting and preserving written records goes back to ancient times, but the barbarians who sacked Rome in the 5th century destroyed a great many, so a lot of rare manuscripts have only been preserved indirectly via the Arab world. Various materials were used to write on, pieces of fabric, papyrus, or vellum, fine animal leather. Parchment was expensive and was therefore used primarily for codices and deeds of privilege, due to its significantly longer lifespan. The most widely used material was paper. The writing implements used included the quill pen, engraver, brush or reed cane, charcoal and chalk sticks. The tr transcription of books was the monk's domain. Each book was unique, carefully decorated, the text enriched with bounteous illuminations all done by hand. The production of a book took many years, making them very expensive. Major works of that time came into being in Latin, but during the Middle Ages some literature began to appear in the respective national languages. Books were very heavy, so as to be hard to steal, and contained a great many pages. Although there were some miniature handbook formats too, there were books so massive that they couldn't be carried by one man. Not only because of their value, but to protect them from destruction, important writings were often kept in chests or cabinets. Only later did libraries come into being, where the volumes would be tethered to the reading desk by a chain. Libraries were needed by administrative offices and places of learning, especially universities. The largest collections were to be found at the Sorbonne, Oxford, and University of Prague, where there were books donated by Emperor Charles IV himself. 
Notable members of the nobility or the church also boasted private collections, despite the fact that not all of them could read. You've learned chronicles. Since earliest times, it was the task of the educated members of the court or spiritual leaders to take on the writing of chronicles. In other words, literary works describing contemporary events, the lives of their rulers, great battles, and sometimes even everyday life. Records were kept in chronological order, and as well as giving the dates, they provide a wealth of historical information. They are among the best sources for investigating and revisiting the history of the country, famous people, places, buildings, and day-to-day -day affairs. There are different types of chronicles, world, national, episcopal, monastic, royal, dynastic, provincial, tracking genealogy, urban, biographical or autobiographical, travel journals, and more. The most important Czech chronicles include those of Cosmos and Delamil, the canon of Vysrad, the writings of the Sassel monk, and the Zbrasilav chronicle. The chroniclers generally enjoyed the most favorable conditions. Most lived at the courts, had free access to older written records, and courtly life and plenty of time to devote to writing. Although chronicles are the most valuable historic source, when reading them and extrapolating, their historical ideological subtest has to be borne in mind. For example, Cosmas wrote his chronicle with unabashed sympathy for the Premislids, while Delamil showed great antipathy against the Germans. Both occasionally mix up facts with myths and legend, for example, beginning Czech history with the building of the Tower of Babel. Some of the books to be found in the game are a transliteration of chapters from Cosmos, Cosmos or Delamil, uh, such as the account of Forefather Czech, The Maiden's War, etc. Stuff that I am not familiar with myself. So, uh, it mentioned that we picked up a book, Hercules and His Diet. We can read this, but like they said, um, <laughs> We can't make any sense out of it. Uh, we can study it. You can't delay, no time to lose. Okay, so no time to study right now. We'll have to come back and study that at some point. Oh, I'm really glad we went in there and looked at that, because that was some stuff that was probably important to uh, Henry. This is a good place. We're gonna like it. This is a good place. Okay. Well, start digging. Damn it all. How am I gonna do this? Do you need some help? Oh my. Is that him? Oh, yes. you... Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? 
Prince Bishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, Rudd! I Cut the bastard down! As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! Oh crap. Oh crap. I don't have very good fighting skills. I'm still new at this. Oh jeez. Well hopefully... Oh jeez. Oh. Bleeding. Yeah, I'm bleeding. Um, do I know how to dodge or anything? Oh, okay. Um, I feel like there's more to fighting than I, I know. Or maybe I wasn't supposed to beat him. I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? Now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! <laughs> <laughs> the games are over. No! All right, that was awesome. <laughs> I'm come charging in there at the last second. <laughs> could you have shown up just a second earlier? <laughs> so that I could keep my sword? <laughs> uh, oh wow, this that was like a whole prelude to the game. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I loved that. I mean, I'm not happy that we lost our sword, but we'll get it back, man, we'll get it back.
Well, it looks like maybe we have woken up in a nightmare. A new objective has started. So I'm, I'm wondering, that was Teresa, that was the Miller's daughter, and that was the Miller right there at the end with the little chef's hat. Not too hard to figure that out. Um, I wonder what would have happened. Oh, I can't get in my journal here. I wonder what would have happened. I'm going to pause it here. If we hadn't saved Teresa at the beginning of the game, um, remember uh, the first time I ran by those guys that were trying to have their way with her, I, I fought one of them and I killed one of them, but then they killed me. Um, she might have gotten away then too. I don't know. I don't think she did though. But what if I didn't stop? You know, what if I had just gone on by? What would have happened? She wouldn't have been there to save us. So, I mean, surely the game wouldn't have ended. So I'm curious to know what would have happened. If you know if you know what would have happened, let me know. So uh, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, I guess this is where the main game actually starts now that we've seen the, uh, like the uh, logo screen and all that and the credits. Uh, beautifully done game. Um, I... I you know, you've watched so many, so many movies and TV shows and read so many books where people show up at the last second to be the hero. But uh, that was awesome. I, I loved that <laughs> when they all came running in there at the last second to save Henry. I loved that. Um, I just wanted to say that if you're watching this uh, and you're enjoying this game, uh, I encourage you to buy it. These guys, I, I don't know this studio. I think it's like a group of developers and and artists and um you know people who worked in other uh game studios they've come together to form these war horse studios i believe and uh as far as i know this is their first game and it, it's it lo it's looking fantastic so uh, i'm hoping you're enjoying following me along but i would also encourage you to buy the game and play it yourself if you do buy the game um uh, would once you consider using the link that's in the description beneath this video if you use that link to buy the game I'll get a teeny tiny portion of the of the sale it's teeny tiny but uh, every little bit helps and uh, if you're gonna buy the game anyway why not do that do it that way I sure would appreciate it uh, thank you guys so much for joining me um, I hope that you will join me again in the next episode where we go through this what looks like a nightmare and um, we see what the game is actually like, because I had mentioned before how it seems very linear so far. Uh, maybe this is when the, the game opens up into more of an open world kind of thing. I don't know. I'm really excited to see. I hope you are too. Hope to see you again in the next episode.